happy and joyful greetings to you. Thank you for walking through the gates to the magic. Today we are at Disney Springs for a special premiere of a drone show called Dreams That Soar. It uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but first we stopped and had a little something here at Eat. Uh, it's fantastic Indian food. A little on the expensive side, but if you like it Indian, come here to eat. And of course it is crazy crowded at Disney Springs. It usually is, but Friday nights are something special. They're extremely crowded. So something to think about on your vacations. It's probably better to maybe go to uh, a park on Friday night than Disney Springs. Because like I said, Disney Springs is crowded all the time. It's just different levels of real crowded to extremely totally 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 crowded if that makes sense but i am very excited for this show there's a i recently saw an amazing drone show um on youtube ironically of a uh, uh, show during fireworks over in paris france in uh, um disneyland paris oh look at that you guys gotta see this sky I can never get enough of sunsets in Florida. So great. I'm hoping they can actually uh, premiere this show tonight. They keep on uh, some big wind gusts happening. I'm, I'm wondering if they'll be able to still do it with high winds. Or if it's like, uh, you know, I know the aerophile balloon that uh, you can take up like 200 feet above Disney Springs. It's got great views. I've been on it before. Um, we will do that someday. We'll have to go on Aerofile. But uh, um, it closes down in high winds. So uh, if it's a very windy day, sometimes even if you're on your, Disney, on your way to Disney Springs and you can see the balloon going up, you know that that's a good sign it's not too windy. But it is crowded. Holy smokes. Just a lot of people. And here's a little news. There's going to be a new bar built. It's Circa and Del Ride the Breed of Patty's Bar. Huh. That's, of course, at uh, Raglan Road. So, just a little further down, there's Morimoto's. You got Morimoto's street food as well. Really, uh, I've never eaten there, but I hear it gets high marks. Just across the way is the Shine Bar and Social from Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. This I have eaten there, and it is the stuff of legend. Highly recommend Homecoming. Good delicious homecoming so good we're down we got all socks just socks just fun socks and there's some pop art here pop gallery a lot of fun stuff here you can actually find a lot of this stuff at uh, um, the festival of the arts also nicknamed farts good stuff oh there's freddie there's elton Taylor Swift. So another reason why I wanted to come tonight is I saw on the interwebs that a very uh, precocious time machine has been found on the grounds of Disney Springs, and I desperately want to go meet her. The TARDIS has been sighted at Disney Springs. And uh, the rumor is it's close to the Orange Garage, which we are almost there. Here's the orange garage, right over there. Oh, and I've, I've spotted it. I've got the TARDIS in sight. Right there. Police call box is very close. 
Oh my gosh. Um, Baker was my first one that I really fell in love with when it comes to Doctor Who. And of course, 9, 10, and 11, they're, they're fantastic. It's here. It's real. It's the TARDIS. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. It's true. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. So if anyone wants to know, the Orange Garage, you take the steps down, it's right there next to the Coca-Cola store across from Planet Hollywood. And of course, we've got some live music. This is one thing I love about Disney Springs is the fact that they have added so many local artists in music to come and play. It is all the time, every day, there are people down here playing music. And this guy seems to be particularly good. It's just him. Impressing everyone. Especially me. Now he's getting out. And of course, no trip to Disney Springs should be complete without a stop at Disney Style. My wife's favorite store to shop at. We've tried a couple different spots and they say they're full. We're gonna go down here next to House of Blues, see if we can get a spot down there. It's uh, a little crowded. We have our first drone sighting. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, very hard to see. We've got three drones out there. Holding a line. One, two, three. They seem to be holding the line pretty well. Wind conditions are good for drones. Disney Springs lit up for the event. Gorgeous.
beneath the starlit sky, a timeless adventure is about to unfold. Inspired by the magic makers, heroes, and dreamers who have come before. Now, unleash your heart, let your imagination fly, and discover just where you'll go as we present Disney Dreams That Soar. Tank. Wow. <laughs> oh, I got all the chills. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah! 
Oh, there's a bat. <laughs> wow. Good shadow, yeah. man. It's sweet. Rocketeer, old school, man. There's Star. Oh, yeah. What an amazing show. Oh my God, guys. I want this to stay here forever. And they can just add on to it with new characters. Like, it is amazing. It is an amazing show. I highly recommend, if you are here this summer, to come out and watch this show. It's one in a million. Like, surprising. The music is great. The, uh, it's magic. It's magic. So, uh, I'm not sure where we're going from here. Probably heading home here in a little while. But uh, I want to thank you for walking through the gates to the magic. It's kind of a quick one today, but it was it was awesome. I hope you enjoyed what I could show you the show. And uh, come walk back through the gates of the magic real soon.